Okay, let's talk about declaring variables. So you've got to declare variables, you have to initialize variables. And there are two different steps. We'll be talking about both of them, but mainly we'll start with declaring them. So Java has these things called variables, and they're containers for values that change throughout the program. And before we can use one, we have to declare it. And since Java is what's called a strongly typed programming language, we have to specify what kind of data that variable is going to hold. And if we try to put data that is not similar to that, then the Java compiler will actually fail, and we could our program can actually crash. And basically what that means is if we put try to put a string inside of an integer, then that's not going to work, and vice versa. So let's take a look at how we declare variables. Usually we start by having some kind of an access type, like public or private. But if we're within a method, we don't have to put the access type because they're all going to be what's called local variables. And so we just have to put the data type. And so, for example, if I wanted to store whole numbers, for example, somebody's age. Somebody can be five, somebody can be six, but we don't want to allow them to be five and a half. Well, we could use the integer data type. And um, so here I've got in age and with a semicolon. And uh, another variable that we might, another data type that we might have a string. So if we wanted to have somebody's name, that's a string of characters. So we could use the string data type. You notice that the string data type is capitalized with a capital S. And in BlueJ, it shows up as black. Where the primitive data type, the integer, shows up in red. This is because the string is actually an object. And basically, um, a string is a, an array of characters. There's the char data type, that's short for character. And this is where you would store exactly one letter or one character. And uh, the string data type is merely a whole bunch of characters together, an object. Another one that we might use is a double. And a double represents a fraction. So, for example, if we're going to have a body temperature, we might uh, hold that as a fraction because body temperatures are about 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, that's a good fraction that we could hold there. Okay, so now we've declared the variables. Each one of these is already going to be set to what's called a default value. So the default value for an integer is going to be zero. The default value for a string object is going to be null. The default value for a character is going to be a null character. It's called a null character. The default value for a double is going to be 0, 0.0. <clears throat> Otherwise, we have to go on to a next step, which is called initialization. And that's where we give our variables an initial value that's different from the default value. And so if I wanted to make my uh, initial value of age be 10, then I would say age equals 10. And this equals sign here, so it's called an assignment operator. It assigns the value of 10 to age. And we can do the same thing with string. We can, uh, with name, we can assign it a value. Billy. And we can set the character to some initial value. Notice that when I'm setting a string to a value, I use two or a, a double quotes. When I'm setting a character to a value, I use single quotes. That's part of Java language. Strings have double quotes. Characters have single quotes. And lastly, this double body temperature I can set that equal to a um, fraction here. Okay, so now I've declared all of these variables up here, and then down here I have initialized them. However, it is possible for us to do the declare, uh, declaration and the initialization in one line, and that saves us some typing. And basically what we do is, for example, if I wanted to set int age to 10 all in one line, 
you just copy this line here. So here I've got it in one line, but I can actually mix the two lines together and write int age equals 10, and then that's going to declare and initialize the age in the same line. And I can do the same thing with my string name, string name equals Billy, and so on. And that is how we declare variables in Java.